Hey Capricorns, how y'all doing? It's your girl Ruth. Welcome back to another series. And I'm talking to the women. Okay. Hi y'all. As y'all can see, I know y'all seen this already. But what about us all doing this? You know? Motivating each other. And that's what I'm here to do. Like John the Baptist. Motivating people to change their mind to come to who they really are that's my perception of it so anyway yeah because we all want this right we all want wealth you know we all want happiness let's see what wealth means okay wealth what does wealth mean is a major supporter for optimism help because it gives you the financial freedom 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 to make healthy choices and avail of any existing health and fitness resources as a result those who experience lack of wealth have limited access to most average and higher level resources that support a healthy lifestyle welfare prosperity good well-being happiness joy riches valuable material possessions a great amount and abundance are plenty wealth measures the value of all the assets of work owned by a person community company or country essentially wealth is the accumulation of sacred resources specific people organizations and nations are said to be wealthy when they are able to accumulate many valuable resources or goods. No, we want to be this. Why not? We got that bloodline in us. We, we got the same bloodline. Everybody came from the same source. Okay? Why we can't do this? I, we can't. That time is limited. All that uh, phrase putting... putting my, uh, patriarchy before us and slavery and mind control and they're fighting now they are fighting they don't want it to change because they're going to lose all this position the one percent why it's got to be one percent why it can't be a hundred percent why can't everybody have riches you know what i'm saying and be he 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 healthy and happy and wealthy i found this book you are a mogul how to do the impossible do it yourself and do it now by Tiffany Pham. We're going to talk about her in a minute. So we're going to talk about what that word came from, mogul, where it started from. And Tycoon, a member of the Muslim dynasty, Mongol origin, founded by Caesar of Timberland, which ruled much of India from the 16th to the 19th century. The Mughal Empire of Delhi. Okay, let's see how he looked. And what about him? Okay. Where is he? Okay. You know that's our bloodline too? You know what I'm saying? They fought. We have to fight. Somebody posted this. I really like this. Okay. So let's talk a little bit about him. Timar. The founder of the Timur dynasty was the conqueror of Western, South, and Central Asia in the 14th century. He was also known as Timberland, Tamerland, or Timur Lang, or Timur the Lamb. He left India in 1399 after the massive conquest, and just as he was preparing a huge army to invade China, he died in 1405. Okay, so we kin to these people. We, why we don't have the mindset? It's enough of the mind control. That's over. And every great man was what? A woman. Mom, grandma, auntie, aunt, aunties, sisters. You know what I'm saying? Wives, girlfriends. I don't care. Uh, uh, madam of the night, whatever. Gave them advice on how to move forward. It's always been us. So it's our turn. Let's read a little more. Mongo, an important or powerful person, especially in the motion picture or media industry, the Hollywood movie mogul, Sam Goldwyn. Okay, let's read a little bit about him. <clears throat> I heard the name, but I had never, uh, you know, kind of put it together, okay? 
Sam Goldwyn, also known as Sam Goldfish, was a Polish-American film producer. He was best known for being the founding contributor and executive of several motion picture studios in Hollywood. And you know his mom them had, and his, you know, most of the women of the family had influence on him. A person who possesses a great deal of power, influence, or wealth in business is often associated with a person who dominates an enterprise or industry, powerful or rich individual. Bill Gates, Gates and the rest of them I showed you, likes to be in charge, powerful business person, leader, ruler, a tycoon, wealthy and powerful business person, person, okay, German root word. Plenty of powerful women they are, you know, so are we. You are beautiful inside out, okay? Woman empowering the young women infinity forever, okay? So your, your daughters, your, your niece and nephew, because we we're going to do it to our sons as well, but I'm focusing on the women right now, okay? Trillionaire, multi-billionaire, zillionaire, sky's the limit. What you want to do? It's all up to you. See, so you got my lucky frog. <laughs> it's all up to you what you want to do because, you know, you're not just a woman. You're a mogul. You're fierce. You're bold. You're unique. You're brilliant. You're motivated. You're driven. You're empowering. You're inspiring. Okay? So why we can't do this? You know? So what I did was I, I wrote on these uh, cards I found. Cute, huh? Uh, different uh, pages of her book. And I'm going to shuffle and we're going to read off the pages and see what she has to say. Okay. Let's see what Miss Tiffany Pham has to say. Okay. I'm going to stay in my hand. Page one. Maybe you want to build tents. Maybe you want to sell tents. Shopify. Whatever. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be summertime. You know what ideas you have. I'm going to tell them what they're going to try on us again. You know, the, the equipment to go with that. Amazon, whatever. You know what I'm saying? We got to start using our, our mind and, 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 you know, do this. I said, I'm sorry. Pinpoint your passions. In many ways, I've known what I wanted to do with my life since I was 14 years old. That was the year that the course of my life changed. As you'll learn in these pages that follow. The events that took place then led me to decide at that time that I would do anything I could do to help others. I would dedicate my life to not only showing others what they could strive for, but helping them to achieve it. That goal became a guiding force for me. I promised to myself that I aimed to keep as I went forth in the world. Pinpointing that passion early and having something that I was doggedly pursuing from the age of 14 allowed me to rise and become a mogul at the at a young age <clears throat> okay she said she had something on her mind what you have in your mind and every distraction try to come at you to stop you from doing that okay don't do that to you don't set yourself short anymore you know prepare for things that's going to happen in the world prepare for it so you can prepare your heart so you can keep on going and don't let it stop you the way they only put things to stop you especially you have a we all have a purpose here so they don't want they want to stop us from that purpose we're going to do another page out of the book okay page 50 uh what is that one to sell furniture can you build furniture you know can you build houses can you build a pose for houses the things that go in the houses they want to buy you know what i'm saying the flowers, landscaping, what, I mean, it's endless what we can do. Endless, okay? Let's see what's on page 50. Kill it up by over-delivering. This is one skill that I believe will be an accelerator for you no matter what job you find yourself in. One maximum that I believe will guarantee success. One attitude that will carry you extremely ex excellently where you want to go. It used, I've used it for every single job I've taken on, and it has never failed me. You got to kill it 
and over deliver on every task you are given. And I mean every task. There is no task too small for you. In any job, you want to be focused on how you can be of service in big ways and small. Early in your career, in a company, you in the company, your task may be as mundane as making coffee, scheduling appointments, or answering the phone. But those tasks can be performed well because the best cup of coffee you can make the best cup of coffee you can exactly how your manager likes it. Step up a schedule set system that never fails, that allows you or those you work for to know exactly where they need to be at all times. Answer the phone promptly and kindly, and as if a New York Times reporter were watching you and going to work a front page article about how you answered that phone. A friend of mine once told me that while working for a political campaign, she learned she and her co-workers would have to manually send thousands of letters out which would require them to staple thousands of papers together and lick thousands of stamps. This must have been before the introduction of self-adhesive stamps. The rest of her co-workers visibly groaned, whereas she rejoiced in the task and became so passionate about licking stamps for that three-day period that she became the best anyone had ever seen. By the end of three days, she had been promoted though with a very sore tongue, a small price to pay for making her way up the ranks. You see, the key is not just doing these tasks well, but to go above and beyond what is asked of you. This mindset truly helped me rise faster and take on more of CBS in my two years there than I could ever have imagined. So do the best you can wherever you are. And then also those are building clients for your own business. You know what I'm saying? If you're the best at that business, when you get yours, there you'll have so many people remember you. You know, and they'll want to buy you. You could talk to them about your little business on the side. You know? So many opportunities. We'll do tarot right quick. Get one card and see what they're talking about. You know, so many ways with the job you have now you might hate, but that could bring, you know, your clients. You know what I'm saying? Start telling them about your outside business. Uh, says the moon, Pisces. Deception or, or delays. Emotions up and down. Maybe deceiving yourself emotionally or others. So don't deceive yourself anymore. Okay? You can do this. Okay? You can make tarot cards. You can do art. You can and, and breed animals. You can walk, whatever. You know what I'm saying? You can... uh. uh fish if you got a boat you can do whatever you know so the sky's the limit don't don't deceive yourself and think you can't do it you know feeling all bad and 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 you know down in the dumps the sky's the limit you know sky's the limit you could do it just got to push forward and do that push forward not a swords fire truth okay Young man to 25 years, speedy situation or finish. Finish it. Get going. Do what you got to do. Charge. It's all in your hand, Capricorn. Okay? I'm going to do a chakra wisdom card and I'm going to let y'all go. Just trying to inspire, you know, those of us that are stuck. There's some that's already on their way. And I hope y'all inspiring others as well. You know, and help them where you can. Cause maybe you can help them with your business, with their businesses, and you can get a certain percentage out of it. You know what I'm saying? It's all kind of ways for us to do it. You know, we've seen enough. They have two actually. Second chakra, sacred chakra. I am a mentor, not a rescuer. I avoid continually sacrificing my own happiness for others by rescuing and enabling them. As doing this may hinder personal growth for both of us. I choose not to be a martyr. I am a mentor, not a rescuer. I do not assume that everyone wants my opinions and solutions to their life challenges. And if I am in doubt, I will ask them. I take responsibility for my own happiness. Okay? So you, you don't, you're not trying to hold their hand. You're trying to help them, to, both of y'all to win, right? And your family, it might be time to let it go. Let them learn on their own. Second chakra, sacred chakra, chakra sensitivity. I am encouraged I encourage myself to express my sensuality and emotions creatively. 
using my faculties, including touch, voice, and actions, and creative abilities such as art, craft, music, acting, cooking, gardening, and writing. I practice being aware of and enjoying my senses, being nourished and stimulated by the nat natural world, such as by landscape, people, weather, animals, aromas, and sound. That was so many jobs in that, just alone. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Wow. All right, Cappy, that's what I have for you. I hope y'all enjoyed this. It's your girl, Ruth, signing off. And until next time, would you like, subscribe, share, and comment? I really appreciate it. All right. Love y'all. Bye.